Hi, I'm Tom and Homi from Dell EMC. In this demonstration video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new Powerflex SRA plugin for VMware SRM. As part of version 3.6, we've released the Powerflex storage replication adapter for VMware Site Recovery Manager. The adapter enables the use of Powerflex native asynchronous replication as the replication engine for protecting virtual machines on vSphere data stores with minimum RPO of 15 seconds. Powerflex SRA can be easily installed on Site Recovery Manager 8.2 or 8.3 and enables VM level replication, failover to the secondary site, failback to the primary site, and failover testing. For the purpose of this demo, I created a replication consistency group between my two Parflex 3.6 systems. This consistency group is replicating a 100 gigabyte volume between the two sites. This replicated volume is mapped to the ESXi host and formatted with VMFS. On that volume, I created a new virtual machine, which will be used to demonstrate a site recovery manager failover. By navigating to the SRM UI, we can see that the Parflex SRA is installed and the Parflex arrays are paired. We can click Discover devices to list the replicated volumes. As you can see, the data store is replicated from the source to the target site. Under the Protection Group tab, we can find the protected data store and the protected virtual machine and its status. In order to run a test planned or disaster failover, we navigate to the Recovery Plan tab, where we can find our recovery plan I created in advance. I'm clicking Planned Failover and then clicking Next and Finish. This option replicates the recent changes from the protected site to the recovery site. It recovers the virtual machines to the recovery site when both sites are running. If errors occur on the protected site during a planned migration, the planned migration operation fails. SRM Recovery Plan has multiple steps involved to complete the failover of the virtual machines from the primary site to the recovery site, including synchronizing the protected volumes, shutting down the source virtual machines, and sending commands to Powerflex via the SRA plugin to initiate a failover and change the target volume to writable, and then powering on the virtual machines at the target site. By navigating to the target vCenter, we can see that the virtual machine is powered on and the VMware tools is up and running, while at the source site we can see that the shadow VM is powered off. If we check the devices in SRM, we can see that the status has changed to failover in progress. By navigating to the Parflex UI, we can see that the source volume status is still writable, as we didn't initiate a reprotect operation yet, but the target volume has changed from read-only to writable during the failover. After a recovery, the recovery site becomes the primary site, but the virtual machines are not yet protected. If the original protected site is operational, you can reverse the direction of the protection to use the original protected site as the new recovery site. By running reprotect when the protected site comes back online, you reverse the direction of the replication to protect the recovered virtual machines on the recovery site back to the original protected site. Reprotect uses the protection information that you established before a recovery to reverse the direction of the protection, while the SRA plugin sends the commands to Parflex to reverse the replication direction. Upon completion, the target site becomes the new source site as the volumes are replicated from the original target site to the original source site, 
and are now in read-only mode. I really hope you find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.